sure like quarantine is hitting everybody pretty hard. Clearly it's hit me pretty hard, so it was it was already there. But I feel like I should center myself more. Uh, I live in like a crazy old house, so don't mind the radiator and water bottles and candles in the background. I guess like I should talk about myself. I don't know. I thought like a vlogging would be fun. I have another YouTube channel but like it's just for like art tutorials and stuff and even then I don't really like post them that often. But um there's a YouTuber that I follow that I really like. Um they're of herbs and altars. I'll like um, post them down below but I've been like following their channel since uh, college which was like ugh, a really long time ago uh, it's been like five years I've been like following their content for like five years and I really enjoy kind of like how um, they just kind of like post whatever they want and sometimes it's just like them rambling for like 30 minutes um, but it's like, I'll be honest, sometimes I don't even pay attention. I just like hearing somebody talking in the background for like 30 minutes while I'm like working on art or something. And, you know, sometimes I'll tune in and I'll be like, oh cool, I agree with this. Or, oh, I have no idea what they're talking about. But, you know, so I guess I kind of wanted to do something like that. Um, I'm definitely like not posting videos because I expect clout or money. Um just like bored like bored and I feel like just talking and throwing this out there for anybody who like willingly wants to listen because you have to like click on the video if you want to hear somebody talk so I figured maybe I'm not bothering anybody that way because they're choosing to actively click on like this thumbnail whatever which by the way um I'm using like a mad old iMac so this is the camera quality. I might get um, a better webcam at some point, but like this isn't my job. I'm just doing this for fun, so I don't really need one, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I also have no idea where to look. I keep like looking at the camera and then now I'm just staring at myself. I got distracted. I just started rambling about stupid shit. Uh, I'm an artist. I like to draw Dungeons and Dragons stuff mostly, which I honestly like didn't realize how much I'd like Dungeons and Dragons until college. Um, before that it was like a lot of original story stuff, which I still do, but I've like gotten really into D&D &D and like making, um, well I've never finished one, but I've like written a million like mini one shots and then I'm like oh I'm gonna like do art for this I'm gonna like post it online I'm gonna like for free and so other people can play and then like halfway through I just give up I'm working on another one currently uh, no idea if I'm actually gonna finish it or not but um I feel like there's not a lot of like underdark campaigns available online maybe I'm just not looking hard enough but um I always really like the Underdark and Drow and and um, all of, like the creatures in the Underdark and stuff. So I thought I would just like make. Well, it started off as a one shot, but now it's kind of like just a mini campaign. Um, and hopefully I can have that done soon. It has puzzles. I really like puzzles in um, campaigns. Um, but I'm also doing like some not like super detailed illustrations. Um, but just like some flat colored stuff and like one or two nice drawings to accompany it just because I figured if like there's some flashy art maybe people will be more interested I don't know um, well, I guess it doesn't matter if the art looks good or not if the campaign sucks but uh, I like D&D &D. Dungeons and Dragons is fun I've been playing since junior year in college which was 2016 so you're so stupid um I'm like so bad at simple math I'm like I'm cutting that out so it was four years ago um but I like latched onto it as soon as uh I like played my first character 
um, I don't, I don't know if you like if you guys like play D and D, but like what kind of characters you tend to gravitate towards playing. Every time I think I'm gonna like make a character that's actually different, I just end up like playing similar characters. I usually just play as like pretty beefy men or like pretty twinky men, um, who like cry a lot and like do goofy things. Like my character is always co uh, like comic relief, but I hope, but like I try not to be like so comedic that's like annoying you know like I try I try to have like a balance but you know nobody's perfect but I kind of like to you know be the comic relief character who can still be serious sometimes um typically casters I like to play as casters um I'm playing a warlock in the current campaign I'm playing um, actually, like, hate warlocks. I've, as I'm playing this warlock, I'm coming to find that I hate warlocks, because I hate that I only have two spell slots. I had no idea how, um, warlock spell casting worked before that. I just, because I just never bothered to look, if I'm being honest. Uh, because I've played, like, wizards, arcane tricksters, sorcerers, oh, I love sorcerers. I think sorcerers are my favorite. Um, I played, like, a cleric. Um, and I kind of can't change my character now. But, I don't know, it's like, because, like, we needed, like, a tanky character in the group, so I decided, but, like, I really hate playing, like, physical classes. I mean, do I look like I'm a physical person? No. If I could use magic to do everything, trust me, I would. <laughs> um, but, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so, I was like, okay, well, I can be a caster. Uh, and still be in the front lines if I do Hexblade, Pact of the Blade, and he has like 5 HP, so it doesn't even matter. I'm like exaggerating, um, we're level, I think we just like went to level 5, but so excited for level 6. I almost went with Pact of the Chain, and honestly it was just for like meta reasons, because I figured he's a drow, we're gonna be in sunlight a lot, so I might as well like... I get a familiar and just let them use the help action every turn then it negates the disadvantage and I'll at least be able to make a flat roll but my DM talked me out of it so I've just been taking the L's so which I guess like you know if, if you want to play a race like that um like it like the drow that's just kind of you gotta you gotta deal with it he got a, a parasol at some point so you can use that sometimes um yeah, uh, we live stream sometimes too. I'll like post the link down below. Um, we live, I don't know why I said sometimes, we live stream every week um, on Saturdays. This isn't like a promo video, I'm just mentioning it because I'm talking about D&D. &D. Um, the chins, sorry. Whoa! I'm trying to think of what else. But yeah, I, t I tend to play as like male characters a lot. Um, and they're usually, like, really sensitive. Um, I don't know. Like, I have, like, tons of other character ideas and I've drawn them, but every time I'm, like, presented with the opportunity to, like, play as one of them, I, like, just pick, like, one of, like, the male characters instead. Like, I have this, like, really cool, um, like, bodybuilder furbolg lady and um she's like really rambunctious and outgoing and i was like i'm gonna play the twinkie gay drow who cries instead and that's literally how it went and um but i his backup is like this lady who sells stuff but like her shop is cursed so like as soon as you buy one of her things it like breaks um so i thought that'd be fun um if my current character dies, and I have to play the backup, at least, so, that's something. Um, I also think I like D&D a lot because, um, I don't know, it's just, like, really fun creating characters. Yeah, I can create my own characters with my own world and setting and everything like that, but I think it's fun for D&D sometimes because there's a lot of wiggle room, but you still have, like, the basic rules, so sometimes it takes some of, like, the guesswork out for you, you know? Um, I don't know. I wish I, like, had something more interesting to say on the topic of D&D. &D. Um, 
Oh, I'm currently doing a text-based campaign. If you're like nervous about like role playing or if you can't um you know meet weekly i like highly recommend just like getting friends together on a discord server um and doing like text-based uh there's a bot i use called avre i'll link that um below too but you can do initiative you can do roles you can have character sheets in it um and it's like a pretty like chill server too i basically just tell people to reply when they can and if they can't it's not that big of a deal um it's like if they don't reply in like 24 or 48 hours then we just like move the story along but it's like casual and it's nice because I'm, I'm the dm for it um i can add to it when i want if i'm on break at work you know i'll like add another prompt for the story to move forward um stuff like that it, it's nice because i understand that like you know a lot of people want to get into dungeons and dragons but one it's really intimidating having to like role play and act in front of people uh, two, people's schedules are crazy, you know, it's really hard to find a, find a group that works for everybody, for everybody to meet up once a week, um, and some other third thing, I don't know, um, but yeah, so if, like, you really want to play d and I'd highly recommend, um, getting on a Discord server, and if you don't know people, like, in your immediate friend group who would want to play, um, and if you, you ask and they still don't want to play, like, just go on Reddit. I've been in a couple groups where I just, like, looked for people on Reddit and everybody was really nice and I had fun with the short campaigns that I played. Um, it's just usually everything fell apart due to, like, scheduling and stuff. Um, also, like, don't overload yourself. Um, when I first started playing D&D, I played with my, um, friends at my college and then my friends from high school, I would go and meet up with them once a week. And then I played in an online campaign via, like, Discord call on the Friday nights. And I was like, what's... E each session typically lasted about four hours. So, it's like 12 hours of my... You literally just, like, watched me do simple math and it was difficult. You're so stupid. <laughs> um... So that's like 12 hours of my week every week that was just dedicated to D&D &D on top of having to do schoolwork and stuff like that. Um, it was just too much. I remember like I ended up like quitting all three groups because I was just like so overwhelmed and it took me almost like a year of like recovery to, well, not a year but like about like six months of recovery time before I could like play D&D &D in like a group regularly again and then I picked it up with my uh, high school friends and um, that's been consistent ever since and for since before the quarantine stuff started um, like a, like about like a month before I started the the text group and that's been going it's it's fun um I also like it because it gives me like more time to like plan out how I want to like word and set the scene because like when I DM like in real life I, I tend to I like freeze up sometimes or like I have an idea of what I want to say and then like I forget all the descriptive words and I just like like word vomit so I don't know I'm just like not very good at like describing settings in real life but if I have like time to think about it and type it it's good um personally I've never had an issue with like character dialogue I think as far as like character interactions and character dialogue um I, that's like my strong suit but everything else is like and I'm getting a little bit better with making combat interesting, but, you know, I don't know, what are your, like, strengths and weaknesses as far as, like, DMing goes or playing? I know everybody has them, um, yeah. Yeah, like, combat stuff I'm not very good at. I just don't think I have, like, a very tactical mind. You're so stupid! I'm, I just definitely like to do character interactions way more, um... There's also, like, a theme of, like, tarot. Uh, sorry, that's, like, it's only related simply for the fact that it's, like, D&D. &D. But, um, I always like to do tarot stuff in, like, every campaign campaign that I, um, like, DM at some point. There's, like, a tarot deck or there's, like, fortune telling. Um, because I think it's, like, really fun and, like, the players always, like, super enjoy it. Um, like, honestly, this video wasn't supposed to even be about D&D. &D. I was gonna, like... I was actually gonna talk about like being goth and stuff and it like turned into D, &D instead but I think that's because D, D stuff is easier to talk about um I don't know maybe the next video I'll talk about like 
music and stuff. I don't know. Oh, and another cool fun thing. I actually just recently um, purchased a 3D printer. Whoa! Uh, it's, it's like on its way. I don't have it yet. But um, I'm like super excited because one of the things that I discovered I really like to do in college is make 3D models. Um, so I'm working on getting ZBrush or I might get Blender because Blender's free. But um, I'm like really, really, really looking forward to creating custom miniatures. Um, I'm definitely going to start small. Um, <laughs> um, but you know, like I might like do some custom minis for friends. Uh, it's definitely something I would be interested in like doing on the side. Um, but like I have just like an, a, a regular full-time job. So unfortunately, uh, art, my true passion, I just have to do on the side until I can make that a viable career. Uh, not, to, not to say that like people who do art as a job isn't a real job but like obviously me just doing selling shit on the side here and there is not a real job that's just me you know getting 75 dollars like once a month sometimes <laughs> you know so it would be really cool if I could have that as like a side hustle and also um like making like terrain pieces is like dummy easy I mean I have Maya um which for those of you who aren't familiar it's a uh, like a, an industry standard 3D program for animating and you can also do hard surface modeling. Um, but hard surface modeling is like, you know, making like cars and stuff like, and robots and stuff like that. It's easier to do stuff like that as opposed to um, making an organic figure like a human or a dog. So yeah, so I have that. So I, it would be really easy to make terrain pieces because our DM has like spent a lot of money making terrain pieces, which is very nice of her. But if I could take some of that burden off of her and just make her a bunch of shit for free that would be rad um I was I was really close to getting a resin printer and I decided to um just get the filament one like the resin sounded really cool but then I was like looking at like some reviews and they were like resin will kill you it's gonna get in your lungs and like I freaked out a little bit because I have asthma so I was just like worried of like dying um I'll link, I'll link the printer down too. It's like cheap. Well, I mean like I know that like you get what you pay for. It's not going to be like super super detailed quality and they're going to be small prints but for like what I need I don't need like a huge printing thing you know. And like worst comes to worst I just print things in pieces. Like I already like work from home so it doesn't really matter you know. Just come up on break and like check on the printer to make sure it hasn't exploded. Yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to and I definitely want to like share some of the minis and stuff. Maybe I'll do like a painting video, but like if I'm being honest, I suck ass at painting. Um, like I just can't fucking paint to save my life. Uh, all of like the minis that I've gotten from Hero Forge, they look great. And then as soon as these gross, disgusting hands decided that like they wanted to paint the miniatures, um, the miniatures looked like shit so as far as like my art goes I always wanted to have like a really nice painterly style and like my professor like god bless him he like was very patient with me as I tried to learn how to be like a painter digitally and although I can technically paint digitally I can do like I think I do portraits pretty well it's just like uh, it kind of felt like I was like forcing it I just think I'm better at cartoony stuff, honestly. As much as I want to be a painter, I just realize it's I'm, it just ain't it. Um, for anybody who watches Bob Ross, I remember there was uh, one of his episodes I watched not that long ago where he mentions that people would always ask him if he would paint people or portraits, and he mentioned that uh, like a really good friend of his was a portrait artist and tried his best to teach him. And Bob Ross was like, yeah, I just realized that, you know, landscapes are my thing. And no matter how hard I try, I'm just not a portrait artist. So I think about that sometimes. And I think that made me feel a little bit better about not being a good painter. Or I guess not being as into painting as I wish I was. Because, I don't know, just like cell shading and more um, cartoony and stylized stuff is just what I'm better at. Which I guess like it's not bad, it's just I still wish I was more inclined towards painting, but it's just not. It ain't it. So, so yeah, this video is like kind of a ramble. How long has it even been going? 20 minutes. Alright, cool. But yeah, um, 
I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, I'm also, like, not gonna ask you to, like, comment and subscribe, because I'll be honest, I fucking hate when people tell me to do that in videos. It's YouTube. YouTube's been around for, like, a million years. We all know how it works. You don't have to remind us to, like, comment and subscribe. You know what? Give this video a dislike if you want. Even if you like this video, I want you to dislike it, and in the comments, tell me I'm a stupid bitch.